one of the most important things in drafting is maintaining neatness and being detailed. Uh, one of the ways of doing that uh, is to number your drawings and it, it's simply for your own use and it's, it's your choice. I highly recommend it um, especially when you're beginning to learn uh, the different aspects of drafting. Um, and, and all numbering is, is is a way for you to, to keep track of what line belongs to what point. Uh, I know that sounds simplistic, but uh, the more complicated drawings get, the more important understanding how they relate to each, uh, the different points relate to each other becomes. Um, it, it's a simple concept, but I will run through it very quickly. Uh, the whole idea, if a, if a point is visible in a view, the number goes on the outside. If it's hidden, it goes on uh, the inside of the object. Uh, probably the best thing to do is just demonstrate. Now, in this pictorial view, uh, you can see the different numbers I've placed on the on the drawing. Uh, you can see that point one corresponds to that point, point two corresponds to that point, point three, uh, all the way around. Uh, point 8 is on the very back and point 7 is actually a hidden point from the pictorial view. Um, so you want to relate the different points to the different views. So we'll take point 1. Now uh, from the top view this is point 1 and it's not hidden, it's visible so I'll place the one on the outside. In the front view point 1 is visible as well so I'll place it on the outside. From the right side view looking from this direction you can see the point one would be visible as well. Uh, continue this all the way around. Um, point two uh, is visible from the top view. Um, now from the front view point two is not visible but it's directly behind point one so I'll place point two on the inside of the box. Uh, if I were looking from the right point two would not be visible. Uh, because it's obstructed by point three, so I will place it on the inside of the box. Point three is corresponds to this point in the top view, which is visible. It's also visible in the front view, and it's also visible on the right side view. Okay. Now point four corresponds to this point, which is visible in the top view. From the front view this would be visible and this would also be visible from the right side view. So it'll remain placed on the outside. Okay. Now we'll do point five. Uh, you can tell probably very quickly that from the top view point five is visible, from the front view is visible, and from the right side view is visible. So it'll go on the outside on every one. Okay, so I'll do that quickly. And also it goes in the that position on the right side view. Now um, we'll do point six. Point six is visible on the front view, so I'll place it on the outside, but on the uh, top view is not visible. So I'll place it on the inside. In the right side view, if I'm looking from over here, I'm not going to be able to see point six, so I'll place that on the inside. Okay. Now point seven, uh, due to its positioning, it shouldn't be visible in any of the views, so it will be on the inside of the box. If I were to view this from the top, I wouldn't be able to see point seven, so I'll put it on the inside. If I were to view this. Uh, from this direction, from the front, I wouldn't be able to see point seven, so I place it on the inside. And from the right side view, it would be behind point eight, so I wouldn't be able to see that that either. So I'll place it on the inside. And the final point is point eight. Top view, I would not be able to see it because it was obstructed by point four, so I would place it on the inside. From the front view, it's obstructed by point five. So I'll place it on on the inside. And finally from the right side view I would be able to see it clearly. It's right there. So I'll put point eight on the outside. Uh, this is one of the many ways that you can keep track of the different points and, and basically uh, especially when you get to auxiliary views this will come in very handy. 
uh, this is telling somebody that just looks at this for the first time they can look at one view and see that point one and point three are connected by a line and point two is directly behind point one the same with point six and seven five and eight uh, and they can also tell which points are visible so it, it's another way of giving a somewhat three-dimensional representation even though you can't see the exact depth on the front view here uh, you do have an idea that points two seven and eight are in and behind uh, on the back of the object and that concludes the numbering lesson